foamy urine is it um normal for your urine to foam uh if it is not normal for your urine to foam then what are you going to do what does foamy urine signify what are the causes of foamy urine this and how to actually get rid of foamy urine if your urine is foaming these are the things we're going to be discussing here so don't skip at any part part because the parts you may skip may actually be the part that uh, an important information is also if you want to um, have a consultation with me i'm going to put my my whatsapp number consultation number so all you need to do is to uh send me message send message on that whatsapp number i'm not the one there okay uh, it's somebody that is handling the whatsapp all you need to do when you book the consultation the person will now tell you when to call me okay because it's accordingly or you want to talk to a doctor or you want to call to talk to a doctor um you don't want to talk to me you want to have a, an online consultation with a doctor still chat the number make the payments it's not free if you make the payments with the receipts they will tell you when to call so that i will be the one to pick or the doctor you want to talk to will be the one to pick or probably give you the um, doctor the number of the doctor so but if you don't want to have a consultation with me you just want to chat with me okay uh that one is free you can send me a message on my instagram it's just that it's um quite filled up like a lot of messages like thousands of messages so i'll reply to it when i am less busy sometimes i may not because the message keeps going down because everybody but if you want to like quick you want to talk to me quick like it's sharp sharp so you can my whatsapp is the easiest way to get in touch with me okay now let's get to it is foamy urine normal foamy urine is only normal when when you urinate okay it disappears when you urinate and your urine foams it foams temporarily then probably in the next 30 seconds it disappears okay and why this happens but if you unite and you find out that even after you unite after one minute the bubble the foams is there then it's not okay it may suggest some of the things i will be explaining to you later now if you your urine when you urinate and uh these are the things that will make it normal for you to urinate and your urine foams and of course whenever it foams it disappears okay it's not it doesn't remain in the toilet even some people when you flush it you will still see the foam there please that is a sign of kidney failure but before that now this is when it is normal number one when you urinated fast speed so the force by which you urinated speed you know probably in the stone or even in the toilet like your bladder is full immediately you went to the toilet you emptied the thing wow the thing will now your urine will now foam but when it foams, usually it disappears almost immediately. 30 seconds, highest, 30 seconds, it disappears almost immediately. Okay? When it doesn't disappear, one minute more, sometimes when you flush, please, this is abnormal. Number two, you are dehydrated. You didn't take a lot of water. If you didn't take a lot of water, this may cause your urine to foam so and usually you will see that the urine is dark in color okay please anything that is making your urine dark stop it it means you're definitely dehydrated and this can cause kidney stone for you so you have to be taking a lot of water if your urine is you're dehydrated you're not taking any water during the day that's why sometimes in the morning when you urinate you find out that it's a little bit concentrated and it foams and it goes away okay because you've not taken water all you didn't take water all through the night so this is normal but however make sure you take water and make sure that your urine becomes clear like a beer should i use something and uh, i think uh, hey, your urine if your urine is like this is okay but it should be lighter than this actually this is okay but it's also concentrated small but it should be lighter than this but if it's dark like coke if your urine is dark like coke 
i'll put a picture please you have to see a doctor it means you are bleeding inside locate the video i made a video on what the colors of your urine what your urine tells for those that are even is are red dark black green yellow what it says then some people's urine are like this it's not normal so locate that video or you just um, on this youtube just search nosmerit um urine what your urine says about you on youtube you see it, but I'll, i think i'll put the link too on the description box where my whatsapp number is going to be so another thing that can that is normal um okay basically like these are the two things when you're dehydrated the speed you urinated fast and then um sometimes another one is when the toilets uh there are some surfactants that that can cause this bubble for instance the toilet you know they just clean the toilet so the soap is still remaining part of the soap is still remaining in the toilet or part of the detergent or disinfectant so when you now you need with the ones in your urine it will now bubble okay so if these are the reasons then there is no cause of an alarm but remember you have to start taking water now these are the abdominal things remember at the end of this video we'll be talking about how to stop folding urine now these are the abnormal things that suggest that if you're having foaming urine it is not normal number one if your urine like i said before after urinating after 30 minutes the or 45 minutes after 30 seconds or 45 seconds or some seconds the bubble is still there number two when you flush even after flushing your urine has disappeared but the bubbles are still in the toilet these two things suggest that something is going on with your kidney so normally what causes this foamy urine normally is when there is protein in your urine i have a video also on how to stop protein in urine how to treat protein in urine i'll put it on the description box you can also search on youtube nosmeris protein in urine you will see the video so protein is not supposed to be in your urine so whenever protein finds its way in your urine it makes uh, uh finds uh, itself in your urine it means that the kidney is having issues yes so usually because of the presence of the protein in the urine when you now urinate the your urine will now bubble and most of the times even you flush it is still there after one two minutes five minutes is still there the bubbles has not disappeared so whenever you find out that there's uh, this is usually one of the reasons protein is in the urine protein is not supposed to there blood in the urine this will now make your urine dark like coke okay or red in color or glucose in the urine these are the things that cause your urine to bubble and this means that something is going on with your kidneys another thing that can cause this is if you are having diabetes okay and you don't know but in case of diabetes it usually comes with large volume of urine okay or you find out that if you urinate you still come back to urinate okay and then uh in also sorry i beg your pardon in the case of um uh when your kidneys are having issues because protein is not supposed to be in your urine another th thing that will help you know that something is also going on on your kidneys is if you're having itchy skin if your leg is swollen if you sometimes you can't urinate okay sometimes uh in the toilet in the night you urinate you come back you urinate like frequent urination and sometimes you start sm your mouth starts smelling but mo usually these things are extreme cases of kidney failure it means that the kidney has already failed so please don't even allow yourself to experience these symptoms before you go to the hospital if you're noticing foamy urine please go to the hospital as soon as possible okay now having established the fact of kidney failure the next thing that can cause this is diabetes if you are uh, having diabetic um, nephropathy where the sugar has you know the diabetes has you know find a way to destroy your kidneys making the the filtering machine of the kidney the filtering system of the kidney so porous that sugar protein <clears throat> and some blood and some other things will pass through the kidneys then 
this will cause foaming urine so diabetes kidney failure even um high blood pressure that has damaged the kidneys please also remember that diabetes and um, kidney and uh, high blood pressure is the leading cause of kidney failure in the world so please if you have these two condition manage it as uh, as you know possible i have videos that will help you just locate them okay or you can search for my playlist you see diabetes um, high blood pressure playlist I'll, I'll try as much as i can to put some of these links on the description box okay so having established that fact another thing that can cause this is when your kidney has damaged finally or you have um um chronic kidney failure already okay so this can it means you already know okay but it is not still supposed to be so so having established these facts let's talk about how to stop this even when you have kidney failure or not number one how to stop foaming urine okay number one please hydrate yourself drink a lot of water please this uh, hydrating of yourself is not really for those that have kidney failure or red down dialysis already not if you have kidney failure is different they are acute kidney injury yeah you in acute kidney injury you actually need to drink water to challenge the kidneys i mean those that are already on dialysis that have been diagnosed with chronic kidney failure okay so number one dehydration especially when you notice that your your urine is concentrated drink lots of water drink stop allowing your urine to become very dark please i wanted to use uh okay this is actually normal color of urine this is okay that one i showed you it was quite concentrated just locate okay, that video of um what your urine says about your health so drink lots of water once you find out that you start hydrating yourself your urine will stop bubbling number two if you have any um infection sexually transmitted infection treat them because sometimes sorry a call came in uh, casting the urine and some things can cause this so treat your infections okay if you have any now um the next thing is monitor your urine if your urine after urinating still one minute the bubbles are still there you have to go to the hospital okay so number one thing after noticing that when you urinate your urine your there is bubble sometimes after flushing is still there sometimes after one minute is still there please first thing you have to do is to go to the hospital or you can do um you can do um urinalysis in the urinalysis investigation they can check if there is protein in your urine if there is um, glucose or anything that is not supposed to be in the urine that are there so once you find out there is protein in your urine or blood in your urine or whatever then you can see a doctor as soon as possible of course you can also do kidney function test just go to the lab and do kidney function test do these two tests kidney function tests are urinary urinalysis okay urinalysis should be about three thousand naira in for those that are in naira um kidney function test should be about fifteen thousand or yeah fifteen thousand naira okay so if you do these tests you can send them to me on my whatsapp but on my whatsapp anything you send on my whatsapp you have to book a consultation but if you send it on my instagram if you're lucky i get to see the message i can reply to you or you can go to the hospital let your doctor know about this remember there are routine investigation you have to do every year i have that video if i remember i'll still put it on the description box for you the link so that you can watch now having established that fact that when you see foamy urine uh after minutes you have to go to the hospital and oh uh, now um number four i mean way of stopping this from happening is please if you are diabetic manage yourself strict managing with diet with drugs please if you manage even if there is protein already in your urine if you start taking care of yourself to start making sure that your blood sugar level is optimal it will stop same thing with your blood pressure medication you have to start taking if your blood pressure medications are not working make sure you let your doctor know however there are things that will make your blood pressure medication not to work 
despite anything you, you are doing i have that video also on why your blood pressure medications are not working and what you should do i pray i'll remember to put it on the description box if i don't remember still search out the video so if monitor your blood pressure make sure that your blood pressure is normal once your blood pressure is becoming okay it will stop of course your doctor will check your kidneys if you're on black uh, if you're on high if you're on high blood pressure medications diabetic medications you have these two conditions make sure you check your kidneys at least two times every year because these drugs sometimes can also damage the kidneys when something is going i'm not telling you not to take your drugs but please you have to be checking these things if anything is going on your doctor can always change your medication or know what to do okay so if you manage these two conditions diabetes and high blood pressure take your drugs to do those things i asked you to do how to manage these things please it will stop okay of course your doctor will also find out if there are other things that are causing it if you're having a um, urinary tract infection or your kidneys are failing for those that are on dialysis uh you know you have to it's still the same thing people that are on dialysis their blood pressure are always high but with strict management doing your dialysis reducing your salt intake if you're smoking you have to quit smoking alcohol you have to stop alcohol anything that will stress your kidneys you have to stop now for protein you have to reduce the way you take protein fish is better take fruit and vegetables very important in managing this thing hydrate very well allow your kidneys to rest hot dog um extra sugar um processed meat all those um things that are highly have a lot of sodium in them already made food fast food biscuits all those things um, um noodles all of those things that are packed with a lot of sodium you have to stop it not just for your heart for your kidneys adhere to fruits and vegetable for those that are high blood are hypertensive adhere to the dash regimen that is uh the the dash diet that is the food that are for the high blood pressure all these things i have their videos i can't that is why this video is obviously long some people don't have this condition but yet the video is becoming long for them so you can see these are the things that you're going to do that will help you uh okay sorry this video has taken long if you're smoking you of course you know then uh for coffee you have to reduce the way you take coffee caffeine if you're taking uh, energy drinks um co coke or beverages all those um cola product things that has caffeine in them you have to stop oh okay or reduce it to the nearest minimum okay so that is basically all you have to do so i hope this video has helped you remember if you want to have a consultation with me you can uh chat me on the whatsapp number that i'm going to drop on the description box but remember it's paid consultation or you want to talk to a doctor still chat that number um when you book the consultation the time will be given to you on when to call okay either if you want to call me or you want to call another doctor or you want to speak with a consultant um in any aspect okay or you if you want to have a free consultation free chat with me it's on my instagram that you send the message but you have to hold on because i don't know where i'm going to receive the message because there are thousands of messages to reply to so whenever i'm less busy sometimes in the day i'll just check you know so if you don't learn anything always learn that you have to check your blood pressure you have to check your sugar level you have to check your kidney function test and do your analysis okay for those that are having um, for, uh, protein in urine, I'll put the description box uh, and the link on how to get rid of foamy urine. Okay, uh, like this video, share. Let me know if you have more questions on the comment section. Have a nice day. Bye. Subscribe, please.